mean value theorem for this function here on that interval. So what is its average slope? Well, we just look at what the, the slope is between those two points. So we need to figure out what is f of six. And we're gonna subtract from that f of one and divide by six minus one. So that's the mean slope of the function on that interval. So what do we get? Uh, f of six would be four square root of six plus one and then subtract parentheses for square root of one plus one, all divided by six minus one or five. So let's clean that up before we use a calculator. One, four square root of one plus one. So that is five. And one minus five is negative four. So we get four square root of six, minus four over five. So that's the average slope. And we could factor out the four that cleans things up a little bit. So maybe we could say this is four fifths times the square root of six minus one. Eh, use about the same amount of ink. So this is our average slope right there. Now, according to the mean value theorem, if this function is continuous, then there is going to be a x value in between for which there's a tangent line with that slope right there. So we need to next find f prime of x. Derivative of a square root is one over twice the square root. Hopefully that's in your memory bank and we have four times that and derivative of one is zero. So we get two over the square root of x. And we want to know when it is equal to that over there. I think I'm going to stick with the first version. And easiest thing to do right here is flip both sides. So that gives me the square root of x over 2 is equal to 5 over 4 square root of 6 minus 4. You can simply multiply the 2 to the other side. And that two divides into the denominator. Two goes into two once and four twice each. So we get the square root of x is equal to five over twice the square root of six minus two. Squaring both sides, we get x is equal to the square of that which doesn't really simplify too much. I don't see the point in rationalizing the denominator here. Oops. But this number, whatever it is, is the x value that gives us uh, a tangent line with the slope that matches the slope at the endpoint. So we're gonna graph that to check. So I'm just gonna call this value a for a minute because what I want to see is I want to see the tangent line and compare it to the line going through the two points at the end point to confirm the mean value theorem here. So the tangent line, remember, is y equals f of a minus the slope at a times x minus a. And yeah, it kind of cleans up if we plug that in, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. So I'm just going to use this on a calculator. And then we could use point slope to find that also. I think we'll see that pretty well. So let's graph this, see what it looks like. So our original function f of x is equal to 4 times the square root of x plus one. And we want to consider the points when x is one or six. So we want the point one, f of one, function notation is a beautiful thing in these calculators. And we wanna see the point, parentheses, six comma f of six, close your parentheses. And let's change the screen a little so we can see that. All right, so imagine the line passing through those two points right there. And 
And we calculated the slope for that earlier. We can just double check that here. I'm gonna call that M and that is a fraction F of six minus F of one divided by six minus one, All right? So that's our slope right there. We could use the point slope form to find that line using one of these points, doesn't matter which one. So let's say I'm gonna say Y equals F of one plus that slope we found above M times X minus one. So there's the line passing through those two points. Now we just found an X value. Uh, I'm gonna call that one A like I did in my notes. That uh, is the place where a tangent line has that slope in between these two points. So let's find that. So let's say, uh, we can call it X. No, let's call it A. A equals, let's see, that was a complicated number. So I had to use a parentheses squared. And inside the parentheses, we had a fraction. And that fraction was five over two square root of six. I think it was plus two. Let's double check that. Minus two. All right, so that is the X value where we're gonna get the slope. So to check that, we're gonna graph the tangent line at that point. And that's what I had written down here. And I can type it just like I see it because in the computer, I said A equals that magic number. All right, let's see what this looks like. So my tangent line ought to be Y equals F of that number A above, plus my slope, is the same slope as between those two lines. So I can just call that M times X minus A. And what I should see is that should look like a tangent line at that point right there. And let's just zoom in. Yeah, that looks like a tangent line, a blue tangent on red curve. And when I zoom back out, it appears that the blue and the black line are parallel and they ought to be because I'm using the same slope M here. So yeah, we did it. We found the X value that gives us a tangent line that matches the slope at the endpoints of the function. And that is the mean value theorem.